Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you course C and we will be looking at lesson 13, sticker art with loops. This is more of a creative play, a mini project that you can do on your own. It builds on the understanding of loops from the previous lesson. And really, this is your chance to explore, real design, create something fun. And I'll just show you a little bit of what it is. So when you click onto lesson one, puzzle one, it says free play. Let's build something big, bigger, one step at a time. Get the artist to the center of the play area using the jump to the middle, jump to the middle center position block, then use the draw sticker block to make something appear. Press finish when you're happy with what you made. Okay, click okay. So as you go through these lessons, you get to be creative and in order to click finish, you should really follow the instructions. So as long as you have the instructions that they ask you to, jump to the middle center position, draw a sticker, okay? Pick, click on the down arrow, you get to choose a selection of stickers, whatever you like. And I'll choose some giraffes and click run. Oh, it drew one giraffe. If you're happy with this, you can click finish. Now you can add more to it. I can add, let's say repeat four times, draw the sticker, reset, run. Ah, this is drawing the giraffe four times, but it's in the same spot. So hmm, what if I move, have it move forward every 100 pixel and then draw the giraffe? But 100 pixel, a pixel means a tiny square that is on this screen. So 100 pixel might be too much. I'm gonna say 50 for now, just to test it out, or 10. Let's say 10 for now and see what it looks like. Reset, run. Oh, cool. So it's almost like copying giraffes on top of each other. Now you get to play with this at every stage of lesson 13. So I'm gonna click finish because I wanna see what the next set of instructions are. So I'll click continue. In puzzle two, it brings my original code to the second puzzle. So here in the directions, it says, change the direction your sticker is facing by adding a turn command to your code. Press finish when you're happy with what you made. So I'm gonna add a turn and think about where you might want to add this. So I'm thinking um, for the artist to draw the sticker, move forward by 10, then turn 90 degrees, draw the sticker and move forward by 10, turn left by 90 degrees. So let's see what happens. Oh, cool. So now I made four giraffes looking at each other. All right, so I could click finish because I've added the turn block, click continue. In the third puzzle, it says now use a loop to make copies of your sticker. Try adding the numbers in the turn and repeat blocks to make different patterns. So I, I already put in my repeat block in puzzle one. Hmm, let's see if I can add another repeat block. Okay, but this time, if it's only in the center, I kind of wanted to turn a little bit, move forward a little, let's say by another 10, and then turn right again. And in the repeat block, another repeat, I want it to draw something else. This puzzle can be as simple or as complicated as you want to make it, but all I want you to do is have fun with it. All right, and challenge yourself. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to this is on hair mode, which is really fast. I'm going to put it in the center. So here it is, following my repeat up here. And then move forward by 10, turn left. Ah, it just pastes the lambs uh, right on top of it. But what if I change this to 25? Let's try again. Oh, so this time I get to see the giraffe, giraffes more. All right. If you're happy with this, you can click finish 
I'm going to do that for now because I want to see what the next step entails. You definitely can keep changing the codes and commands on your project. It says, so much fun. Now add a second sticker right on top of the first to make, a, make an image like the ones below. Oh, I guess I'm ahead of the game. I already made a sticker. So in this one, I'm going to play around with it a little more. I kind of want to see what happens if I set this pattern, draw sticker, uh, set pattern under here. If I change this to this pattern or a rainbow pattern or this one to a squiggly one, I wonder if it does anything. Oh, cool. So the artist has a little pen and that pattern shows up. And because I kind of want um, to see the giraffes, the, I want the lamb in between the giraffe. Maybe I'll turn at a 45 degree angle. Let's try this again. Cool. So at 45 degree angle, it only drew four. So I might have to repeat this eight times. I'm going to do this a little quicker. Nice. All right. Click finish and click continue. So boys and girls, I think you understand what um, we're trying to do with each puzzle. So in each puzzle, make sure you read the directions carefully. Make sure you put these blocks that they're asking you to do and then click finish when you are done. I can't wait to see what you create. Um, good luck, have fun, and be creative. See you later.